All right, welcome back. Um, this is uh, my playthrough of The Walking Dead, which I've played about an hour of, and that was, let's see, three years ago. Um, and I started an episode earlier, but I'm going to go to a new game. So, yeah, I've played maybe an hour. I don't remember any of this, so this is all new to me. I don't watch the show, uh, so I know next to nothing about The Walking Dead. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Play standard episode one. Here we go. And I'm going to try not to talk too much over dialogue and important scenes. So don't worry. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yes, yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say oh, so. Shit! This other time... He 
He's right, that was pretty funny. You all right? <laughs> Officer? Oh, that doesn't look okay. good. He wasn't ejected from the car. How are you? Hmm. Why the hell did he have his gun out? I need to drag myself out that window. A shotgun is over there. Can I get it? Oh, looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. All right. Let's see, can I? Uh, no. I guess it auto saves. Officer. Yeah, I get the feeling that's not going to be the worst thing you see in this game. Oh. Officer. Holy shit! Yeah, that's about right. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from me! For real? Don't make me do this!
Hello? Anybody? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Anybody up there? No. Let's try that again. Hello? Anybody in there? Help! Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. I think I might know the root of your problems. If that was your first thought. If anybody's home, hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in, don't shoot, okay? An intruder or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Okay. So obviously, oh, obviously, they're having a good time. I wish that happened in more games. What was that beeping sound? I can't look at everything here. This is... No. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Not gonna use it or how do I use it? That's it. I'm gonna look in controls. I should have done this before I started. Is that it? Is there no Huh? That beeping. Yeah. What is that beeping? The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Cool. Is there a phone? Yep. There are three new messages. Maybe well, there's let's... something on there. Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, How crazy. he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. 
That was a bummer. Daddy? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? You need to be quiet. No. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. Good observation. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> okay. some million dollar baby style falling. Oh. Okay. Did I win? Cool, we get to watch the uh... BAM! What's up? How you doing? Did you kill it? Nope. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think Flanders so was a zombie? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Hmm. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. It's not safe at daytime either. Let's go. Stay close to me. Getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? 
Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? <laughs> they won't. <laughs> I won't leave you. Home. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some, some guy. guy. Some guy? Yeah. Yep. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. You know, you, you could probably help instead of just hanging out. Well, the little girl's helping, and you are just standing there. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. <laughs> 